This is Danny with Danny's Pixel Chicks helping you to find a place for every pixel and I want to talk to photographers, especially professional photographers, but really anyone who conveys images to friends, family, clients, as well as videos, audio, um, other types of fi file types. I want to talk to you about how you can convey these securely privately, permanently, and forever. If you're being paid for the beautiful images that you take, or if you volunteer to take beautiful images for someone, or you just want to share images with other folks, you don't want them to fall into the junk folder in email or disappear into the abyss of too many emails and get deleted. So here's a way that you can share photos privately and securely, and both you and the recipient can store them permanently, as in forever, as in your lifetime plus 100 years. So if you are paying for cloud storage that requires you to make monthly payments or annual payments, requires you to um, participate in certain activities or make purchases, this is a really awesome solution for you because with forever you purchase your storage one time and it is permanently guaranteed yours. No more action is required on your pipe part and there will not be any maintenance fees. So let me show you how this works. Give me just a second here to share my screen. Um, and I am going to share with you the forever website. So when you are going to first thing you'll need to do is to create an account. So you'll go to www.forever dot com slash ambassador slash Danny's pixel chicks as it's shown up here. And of course you can find this, this um, link all over the place on my website and the Facebook page. So after you have gone to the, to the um, site to create an account, you're going to type in your name, your email address, create a password and indicate that you're not a, a, a robot. So, you know, we have to do that everywhere we go. So I'm going to log into my account and I'm going to show you how this works. It truly is a seamless and beautiful product for you to offer to your clients. So these are some of my albums and you're going to notice there are little tags on here that say friends and family, private and public. For friends and family albums, those are the ones that if I have connected with someone through this friends and family link up here, I, they are able to see any folders that I have designated at a privacy setting of friends and family. They cannot see the ones that are designated as private. They can see the ones that are designated as public. Our security is so good that I actually keep our legal documents in here. Everything from birth certificates and copies of our driver's licenses, insurance documents, wills, and that sort of thing, it's all in here. So that if something catastrophic happens to our home, I still have it, but it's private. So the only person who can see that is me when I'm signed in as me. Um, and I can sign in from any connected device. So this is all in here. And then I have folders arranged by year. So I want to show you how easy it is for me to receive photos from a photographer. I happen to have a link that was just sent to me by the photographer who took my son's senior pictures. So I have albums by the year. So I'm going to open the 2020 album and I'm gonna add a nested album. This is set currently at friends and family, um, but if I don't want people to get a sneak peek of the senior pictures, I can always change that to private and then that will change all of the nested albums to private as well. For now, I'm gonna leave it like this though. So I'm gonna add the nested album and I'm gonna call it 2020 Chapin's Senior Pictures. I'm gonna create that album. Now let me fetch the pictures from my photographer's email. You'll see that she sent me this link. So she wrote a lovely little email message and then she, um, po then she gave me the link to his photos. So I can click on this and I can select all of these photos at one time. down the shift key and select the other end. And then I have options. If I don't have a forever account, I can just download them to my device. Or if I just want to download them to my device, I can do that. Or I can copy them to my library. This is the optimal experience for our users. So if your client has a, has a storage account set up, which you can do, and I'm going to explain that in a minute, um, 
you can copy, they can simply copy them to their library and then those photos are protected forever. You don't ever have to worry about getting another email that says, I can't find the pictures or I lost my phone or my computer died. They're in there and they're permanently guaranteed. So I'm going to copy these to my library. And if you have tagged them with the student's name or the family name or the date or any of those things, they can copy those files and tags as well. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And then I'm going to come back over here to my account and I am going to add files from my library. And you can see there they are. So I click the first one and I click the last one and I tell it to add them. And now I have one cohesive album of all of Chapin senior pictures. All right, so let's talk about how you can um, and make this happen and work for your clients. First, you create your personal account. Test it out. Try the free two gigabytes. Use your welcome code that you'll get when you confirm your email to um, get a little more discount than what might be offered right now. And you can always see our, our savings that we're offering at any given time in this deals tab. But let's take a look over here at storage. Most of your photo sessions are probably going to fit in a 10 gigabyte account. So here's my proposal. If you add a forever ambassadorship to your business, you add this price to your um, digital downloads fee. And then when you have a new client, you help them to create their, their free account. You add the 10 gigabyte account for them. Um, and then you receive the profit from that. If you prefer to have me help you to manage your clients in that regard with their forever account and storing of those photos, I'd be happy to do that as well. But if you add the 199 to your digital pricing, <clears throat> you're able to convey their photos without burning a CD, without having to pay annually or monthly for cloud storage that you then have to give them shout outs and say, get your photos off of there because I need to delete them. They can take as long as they want. It's not going to matter because you've loaded them into their own account. Um, so this is a great feature. If you have someone who gets photos from you regularly, you might want to consider starting them out with a larger account that will hold more photos. Um, and of course, they can always add more later. Another thing that you can that, that we offer is if you look at our deals tab, you're going to see that presently we're offering um, several great deals on products and shipping. So you create these beautiful packages for them with um, photo prints, maybe mugs or wall art or beautiful photo albums, and you definitely want to continue doing that. But you also want to allow your clients to decide later, you know what, it'd be kind of cool to make a, wall, a, a canvas for um, the adopted aunt from from Minnesota and send that to her or maybe you want they want to create a little brag book that they can carry with them um, instead of carrying the big fancy album that you've made or they want to make mugs for Christmas gifts using some of these photos they can do it in here and if you add a forever ambassadorship to your photography business you're going to get the commission from that as well so this gives them the opportunity to do great things with your photos we use only the the best premium quality products our seamless lay flat photo books are new and they're really cool super heavy duty pages um, much like the um, museum quality offerings that you probably offer to your clients so there are lots of great things that they can do so I hope you'll consider doing away with that annual or monthly pay payment for cloud storage and consider putting this into the hands of your clients so that they permanently have your photos. I want you to, to look at how easy it is to create a link. I forgot to show you that. So let's go over real quick to back to my album. Um, you saw how easily I retrieved photos from, from my photographer. But if you come back down here to these photos, let me show you how easily I can share them. So let's say I want to give my mom the whole collection of photos. I don't. We're going to save some of this for Christmas. Um, but if I wanted to send her the whole thing, I can click share. And I can copy this link and send a nice little email like Chris did. Um, I can also take that link over and create a QR code. I'm sure if you're into, the, into technology at all, you know how that works. Um, but I just copy this link and then I always paste it into an email, although there are obviously are other options for sending it, but I prefer to do it that way. Um, the other thing that I, that I use this for when I mentioned about public albums, my daughter does a lot of theatrical performances. Um, so when I took photos, I created this album, I created a share link, and in this case, I allowed others to upload files to the album with the link. So anybody who receives my link can download my photos, they can copy them into their own storage account, or they can even upload photos for me. So 
if it's a family reunion or a play or the kids events, I don't miss any of the pictures and that makes me super happy. If some, for some reason, one of your clients doesn't follow through with contractual obligations and so forth, you can also kill the link. So where I've created this link here, I can come up here and open it up and click no, and that turns that link off. So if they have broken their contract with you, you can retrieve your photos if they have not yet downloaded them into their forever account. So this is really a great option for, for photographers. I don't want you to continue paying for things that you shouldn't have to pay for. Put that on your client clients um, digital fees and you're sending them everything securely and easily. So reach out to me, let me know how I can help you. I'd be happy to sponsor you as an ambassador or help your clients, support your clients with um, these great products that we offer. Um, take a look up here at the storage pricing again. The 10 gigabytes is probably sufficient for most of your um, photography clients, but if they're people who come to you regularly, you might want to start them out with a bigger one and let them know that by purchasing this bigger unit of storage, that gives them a leg up the next time they come back to you, they've already got their storage, and so they will be able to negate this part of the, the fee for your digital files. So I hope I've given you lots to think about, great ideas. I'm gonna sign off and get back to work, helping you to find a place for every pixel.